Hi everyone and welcome back to English Buff with Jana. Today I want to talk to you about the similarities and differences between two international exams, namely IELTS and TOEFL. I've passed both of them, so I have some precious knowledge and experience to share with you. I've got 8.5 in IELTS and 113 in TOEFL. In this video, I'm going to tell you about their structure, types, availability, score, and many, many, many other things that you are interested in. And of course, I will share with you my own impression of them. So no more lead-in, let's talk business. Now, what are these exams? IELTS, International Language Testing System, and TOEFL, Test of English as a Foreign Language, are two main English tests available for college students and employees from non-English speaking countries. Although similar in ambition and focus, these tests differ broadly in their approach and testing criteria. Let's dive into details. IELTS is mostly a British test, hence it's eagerly accepted in Great Britain, Canada, Australia, New Zealand and now Europe as well. TOEFL was initially developed at the Center for Applied Linguistics at Stanford University. As such, it has very wide acceptance in U.S. universities. Almost every U.S. college will accept your TOEFL certificate. Because TOEFL is an older test than IELTS and because more students apply for the universities in US than in Britain or Australia, TOEFL boasts a higher number of test centers. 4,500 centers spread across 169 countries. IELTS, on the other hand, has only 1,200 centers globally, though it shouldn't be an issue as they have a center in pretty much every major international city. Both TOEFL and IELTS are offered 48 times per year. Uh, the frequency of taking IELTS, though, is not regulated, so you can take it as many times as you wish. TOEFL offers just one type of test. This is TOEFL IBT, Internet-Based Test. There are some centers that also offer PBT, which is paper-based test, but there are not so many of them. And in Ukraine, we don't have such an option at all. Talking about IELTS, it has two types. General, for people who want to immigrate or find the job abroad, and academic, for those who are entering the university or college. Not so long time ago, computer-delivered IELTS appeared, so now you can choose between two options, paper and computer-based. Cost varies by country. In Ukraine, TOEFL costs $180 and IELTS, paper-based, the cost is around 4,000 hryvnias and computer-based is 4,800 hryvnias, depending on the center where you take it. The TOEFL is scored out of 120 points. 30 points for each subtest. IELTS scores, on the other hand, are based on a 9-point scale with half-point increments. This was some general information. And now let's take a look at the most important differences. The key difference between the exams is that for the reading and listening sections, you will have to write your own answers for the questions on the IELTS, while all the answer choices will be given to you on the TOEFL. If you prefer having more multiple choice questions or the questions where you need to choose out of the list provided, then maybe you are going to feel more comfortable with the TOEFL task.
The question of TOEFL versus IELTS is also a question of paper versus computer-based tests. Almost everyone who takes TOEFL will do so on the computer. So consider a lot whether it's okay for you to read from the screen, uh, listen to the text in the headphones and type the information on the computer, or whether it's better for you to do so in pencil. If you prefer more the paper base, then your option is IELTS. The written sections for both the TOEFL and IELTS have several passages, each followed by a series of questions. However, the two exams use different types of texts. The IELTS test uses the academic texts as well as the passages from the newspapers and magazines. The TOEFL only uses academic texts which means its written passages are often denser, with more complex vocabulary and concepts to understand. If you are not confident in your English reading skills, then I would rather pick IELTS for that. On the TOEFL, the speaking section of the test, as all other sections, is done on computer. You will hear recorded questions and speak into a microphone to give your answers. With the IELTS, you will actually be having a conversation with a real human. This is one of the biggest differences between these two exams and this is an important one to consider. Some people feel really nervous and anxious when they have to speak to a real human, therefore they prefer TOEFL. But don't forget that while you are speaking to a real person, you will get some feedback from this person. This person will show you his emotions with nodding, smiling, facial expressions, gestures, and this may help you to fix your mistake and rectify your answer in general. Also, the speaking section on the TOEFL is always the third part of the exam, while with the IELTS you can take this section up to a week before or after the test. Both exams require you to write two essays for the writing section. However, IELTS gives you 60 minutes to write the recommended 400 words while TOEFL only gives you 50 minutes but recommends 500 words. If writing in English is a struggle for you and it takes a long time, then you may find considering IELTS more appropriate for you. So let's sum everything up. Uh, the TOEFL and IELTS are two most popular English language proficiency exams. Both test the same four areas reading, writing, listening, speaking, but the tests vary in terms of format and the way they test skills. In debate of TOEFL versus IELTS, ask yourself the following four questions that will help you to figure out which test is best for you. The first question, which certificate does your school require from you? Not all colleges or universities require the same test. Some colleges prefer one test to another one. So check it on the website of your college or university and take the one that the school requires. Question two, which test plays more to your strengths? What I mean is that if you are not good at writing and it takes long time for you to write, then TOEFL is definitely not for you. If you are good at writing, but you are bad at writing down your answers for reading and listening, then TOEFL is definitely for you and you shouldn't take IELTS because there you have not so many multiple choice questions. Question number three. Are the available dates appropriate for me? Usually, when you need to enter the university or college, you need to submit your certificate 
earlier or later the definite term. And sometimes your IELTS or TOEFL certificate is not able to come that time. So consider the date availability and think about two weeks of receiving the certificate from IELTS exam. And of course, from TOEFL exam, it also takes two weeks. Question number four, which exam is cheaper? If you are not interested in money, then this question is not for you. But if you are not sure that you are going to get the results that you need from the first time, then consider to take the one that is cheaper so you could retake it and spend not so much money on that. My personal choice is IELTS, and this is because of several reasons. First and foremost, because of the writing, of course. It's hard to write 500 words only in 50 minutes. So for me, it takes more time. Therefore, 60 minutes for 400 words is more appropriate for me. Secondly, it's because of the speaking. I like to communicate with real people and to get the feedback from them. Thirdly, it's because of the reading texts. In IELTS, they are shorter and they are easier for understanding the concept and perception, of course. And the last one is listening because I hate my multiple choice questions and I would rather write down something from myself than pick out of several options. That's all for now. Thank you so much for your attention and I hope this video was of a great help for you. Write me please about your test. Have you already passed these exams? What exam are you considering to take? And what stops you from uh, taking this or that exam? I'm eager to see your responses and I wish you all good luck with your exams. Just consider your own options, strengths and priorities and then just pick the one that you find the most appropriate for you. Good luck with your exams and see you next time.